video. So I'm not gonna lie, it's been a minute, but let's do this recap of my life. First of all, the lighting is kind of bad, but who cares? But let's do a recap of me life. Um, tell you some things about the school that I'm gonna be going to because this is the beginning of my college era. Like, should I say like college? You know, college diary is so like college vlog is so like. So I'm, so I just, I'm probably just should call it the college era. Okay, yeah, I didn't just want to call it, but this is the beginning of my college era, and y'all we need to start because crunch time is coming i leave on the 21st and it's the 6th like i just looked up two days ago it was it was like i felt like the first was two days ago so but it's the 6th and your girl needs to start packing needs to start breaking down her room sadly i'm gonna miss my family but this closet gotta go first because i plan on going to play those closet to get it together but before i start the cleaning out portion of this video i'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about the school that i'm going to and like a little bit of why i didn't pick some of the top like some of the schools that i got accepted to because of course i would have went to any of those schools because all of those schools are amazing and they were just so nice of like about any of the auditioning process and everything. But um, I'll start off with just saying like why I didn't pick the other schools. Mostly it's because of location wise. Because I did want to be in California. Like I always been saying that I want to be out of town. It was either California or New York. And it was like if I'm going to this, if I get into the school, I genuinely want to go to California. So that is where I'm going. Um, I had two schools that. I got in that was in New York and one school one of the schools I didn't get in for my major and that's the reason why I didn't go to that school for sure because I didn't get into the major that I wanted to and I got in undecided and I didn't want that um the second school that I got into is um it was just a simple fact that I didn't get enough money from that school and also I didn't um like financial and also just the fact of I didn't want to have to travel on like um like everywhere. It was too much of the traveling of back and forth. Oh, this is where your um dorm is all the way over here, but you your class is already over here. And I just wanted to have everything in one little university area. So yeah, that's why I didn't pick that school. And that's another reason why I didn't pick the school in Chicago. Um, because first of all, that school gave me so much. They was really, they really wanted a girl. And like, I am, I would have went there. Like that was, it was between the school that I'm going to now and then that school. And I, it was just like, which one you're going to go to? Which one are you going to? And the only reason I didn't choose that school is because location based. And also because it was a lot of back and forth traveling on like the train and the bus and like of course i'm gonna have to travel on the train and the bus and uber and all that stuff but it's just a simple fact i don't want to have to do that if i could just go somewhere where it's just all the classes is walking distance no i didn't want to have to take the chicago train chicago like i don't want to do that um and then um another reason why i didn't go to the other schools that i also picked that was which in that was in like piss mm, california i don't know it was one in Illinois, and then it was another one that was in Philadelphia. And I didn't pick those two schools because also I got in for dance. I didn't get in for my major that I wanted to go into, in which is theater. Um, I got in for dance, and I didn't want to dance, like, as a major. I would rather, like, do dance as a minor than a major because, like, that's just me personally. And, yeah. But the school that I'm going to is the, the Loyola Marymount. And the, you will just see me four years, y'all. Four years in that school. And y'all going to come on my journey. But I pick Loyola Marymount because, first of all, of the area. Nice area. Nice campus. I haven't even been to the campus. But I looked at the campus stuff. And, like, every time I tell anybody that I'm going to that school, they always be like, that campus is amazing. That campus is nice. Oh, my goodness. I love that campus so much. And so... I really wanted to go there because of the campus and also the location. Um, 
they're very expensive but like you know god got away and he really had a way he really did his big one two on this one um yeah really the real thing about that school it was really location based if i get to any school in california la i was going <laughs> like it was location based i genuinely had to go to the school because i was like oh i can't um and so another reason is also that um like i just like their program like in general like i feel like that school is a lot about like come on like get on your work but like we're gonna give you the space to have that space to do your own personal mental health personal well-being how you want yourself to see like how you want to succeed as a person and how you want to move during your college experience they're giving you that um like that pathway to do it but they're still like come on like you you are here to major in this and this is what you need to do but like they give you a lot of zen and that's what you need like that's what i need <laughs> so that's the school i'm going to layola marymount and i cannot wait um that's just this is my opinion right now me on august 6 of 2024 i am a i am uh, pause i am a incoming freshman at the layola marymount and i will see you guys when it's time to go into the dorm but let's get the cleaning not gonna lie y'all i hope this is a good angle for y'all a good enough angle for y'all because like i can't i can't find my little holds my stand holder but i'm at the first i'm literally this is the mess like these are all clean all of this stuff is clean but like what am i supposed to do i'm trying to pop I have a keep pal and I'm have a giveaway pal. And okay, that was tripping for a good minute. So I have this black one piece. I think I'm gonna keep it. Keep the and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go one by like clothes by clothes because I got it all separated like pants, shirts, da 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 da. Yeah. So duh, keep. I think I'm gonna give this away. Away. I never wore that. These are shorts, I just got these, but I don't know why they're in the shirt thing, but keep. This is a keep. It's a vest. I mean, not vest. Well, it's shaped like a vest, but black. You know, you can't have enough black. I cut these thinking I was gonna wear them outside, not cute. So, throw them away. I used this the other day, and I didn't like how it looked on me. So, like, I don't know if I should keep or not. I think I'm gonna keep, just, you never know. Like, I'm gonna keep because, like, it didn't look bad, but it was probably because I was bloated, but who knows. This is, I just got this, but, you know, I can't, I, I don't know. I keep, I just got it. Keep, just got this. Clothes are inside out. I'm sadly not gonna keep this, because my breasts, it just don't look right. Like, I only got this for $12, though. So. Like, this was a steal from Zara, and, like, I can get it around my whole thing, but it just don't look right. Um, what is this? Oh, this is a shirt from Autumn. This is my nice shirt, so I'm done keeping that. I'm keeping my Mark Jacobs shirt. But let's speed this up because, you know. Third pal of the keeps. Yes, I'm putting it on the floor because you know what? It's my room. And it's just a throwaway. Don't mind a grab bag. But this is a keep. I feel like I should just keep going, to be honest. Because at this point, just separate them. I'm gonna put y'all. I'm gonna put y'all right here for the pants. So this is a skirt. I don't know if it's a vibe or not, but I'm gonna keep it right here. I'm gonna keep it right here, just in case. Like, let me let me just try it on. Some leggings I got for my mom. Um, I feel like I can keep, I can keep these for like when I wanna work out. 
Oh, this goes with the shirt that I said I was going to keep. This is a skirt. These are I'm I'm keeping, but I'm staying. Like, they're like staying at home. I have a matching set to this, so that's a keep. Oh, here's the last shirt that I showed y'all. Here's the bottoms to that. So this is a keep. Oh, the, I have this skirt, but I can't fit it, y'all. Like if y'all see my hips. It's not fitting in here no more. So, bye. I'm keeping my brown skirt. <laughs> These are the keep for the pants. Like, literally nothing. But I have more pants. So, I decided I'm just going to do my whole drawer. And then get into it. Let me get y'all a better prop up. y'all back down here so y'all just gonna have to see it like i've been showing y'all my dress i'm keeping and it's coming with me this is actually coming with me because i i got jogging pants they need to go i have these nike pants i feel like i can keep these have i wore them anytime no but like on a random i could probably wear those i'm finding some pants that i don't know if i can fit or not but i would just say i can't because most of them are the same size These are some pants that I took from my brother. I have no idea. If I can, if I cannot, well, whatever fit in these, but we're going to find out. For like the dressers, like the little things down here. But like, I still got this whole thing to do. I'm tired to do that. Okay, y'all. One second. Like, I need to turn the air on. I need to take a break. I'm hot. Oh. I just had technical difficulties. I think I'm going to get into this bad boy. This bad boy. Bum boy. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not taking anything now. I, it's just going to be like a want to keep, want to keep, want to keep. My granddaddy gave me this. Well, he gave my brother it. And I was like, I want it. I haven't worried since. Sorry. But I'm not. I feel like me tackling like not one drawer, but two drawers, three drawers is good enough. Like that's a start. That's a start. And like I don't feel like I should show you all like that much for this. But that's a put the clothes back um sorry god that this was like a short video i haven't been posting because like a girl been busy like living her summer before she leave but i'm gonna start posting more and my my youtube was on like a little band or something like it wasn't showing anything i was posting and i had to repost it like 30 times getting no views or anything like youtube what's the beef so um 
I don't know what's the beef between me and you two, but I feel like it's no beef and we're really like twin them, but like don't have me reposting stuff four times. It still ain't got nothing to be showing. So yeah, sorry YouTube, but love you. And I think that's the end of my video because like I just really wanted to show y'all like tell y'all all about my school and like show y'all a little bit what i've been doing like just so i won't leave y'all in the dark but look forward to a lot of school a, a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of college content and just like regular content and i'm just gonna try to keep y'all updated do and do better than i was doing but like it's a lot like they don't talk about that let me just go on a rant now they don't talk about how much you really had to do before college. Like, everybody says, like, okay, we get the audition process or, like, just, like, the having to take a test process and, like, getting into the schools and essays and stuff. Okay, we know that that's a lot. But the fact that when you get into the school, it's still so much to do. Like, I found myself, like, writing, like, three more essays. Getting into schools. Like, oh, my goodness writing it's just so much to do we got right essays now we at the point where we about to move in and especially if you're moving from a different state to another one this is a lot because like i have to clean all this out i have to make sure my room in california feels like my room in chicago <sighs> and nobody talks about that nobody talks about how freaking frustrating this can be because i like especially like if you make a youtube or something like i really want to make my youtube videos but i can't make my videos because like i can't focus on the angle of the camera and stuff and be productive but i still just want to show y'all this productive day of mine yes i could not get that work out but this productive day this productive like moment of me doing this because i do have to continue when y'all done like when y'all off this video because, like I said, the countdown is counting, baby. So, yes, your girl's getting ready for college. Stay tuned for my college videos. I love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye, guys.